Next progression for the activation of your deep cervical flexors is two progressions in this video. First one, line your back, get yourself nice and comfortable, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck my chin to give myself a double chin, and then push my head down into the table, uh, floor, mattress, whatever it is and hold it for four seconds and then release. I don't know if you saw, but my tendency, as I pushed my head down, my shoulders came up. So then I had to then just squeeze my shoulders lightly to stop this action coming up. Point you want to be careful of is that your head is, is nicely in line. You're not looking over to one side when you perform this. You don't want any angle. You want your neck nice and neutral. So I'll just show you that again and I'll show you how you progress it. So lying on your back, looking straight up at the ceiling, tuck your chin, so your shoulders down, tuck your chin and then press your head down. It's like you're making your neck as long as you can. Okay, if you've got neck dysfunction, this, this will, you'll feel this quite quickly. But when you can perform three sets of 12 of this and it's feeling okay, get yourself a resistance band through your hands like so so your um, palms up thumb is out line your back again and you see my elbows are slightly forward and just slightly hugging on my boot cage so now i'm going to perform that exercise on my neck and hold in that position and then do 12 repetitions of bringing my hands out to the side so it will look like this i'll tuck my chin push down into couch to make my neck as long as I can and then I'm going to perform 12 external rotations at the arm while maintaining that neck posture. I'm not actually going to do 12 because we'll be all day. <laughs> there you go. So that's your next two progressions on, on that exercise.